morning and welcome to my kitchen. And tonight we're going to do a kitchen quickie. This is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be like kitchen impromptu. And this is kind of how I cook when I'm not cooking in front of the camera. So I thought this would be kind of fun because I've been making these noodles. Um, I we made them a couple of times this summer and they're so delicious and they're so simple. Um, you know, a long time ago, back in the day, when we used to buy things like noodle roni and pasta roni, uh, one particular kind that we used to like was a, a butter and herb, but we don't need a mix to make that because you already have everything you need on your shelf. You don't need a mix that's full of ingredients that are unpronounceable and extra salt and all of that. You can make this at home. So what I did was I boiled a pound of fettuccine and it's draining in the sink. I kept out a cup of the pasta water so that I can use it to thin my sauce. What I'm going to do is, like I said, this is impromptu. This is how I cook. I'm going to put in a spoonful of chopped garlic. And yes, I use chopped garlic in a jar. Um, this is very economical, but I do still keep fresh garlic for things. So, you know, this is just quick. It's easy to reach for. And I like it. So, we're going to add some dry spices and herbs in here. I like to add them in with the butter. I have some parsley flakes and I'm not measuring, but I will write a recipe for you that you can get on the Noreen's Kitchen website. So don't worry about, you know, I'm not using any, any uh, measurements. I'm also going to use about the same amount of dried basil. If you have fresh coming out of your garden, you can use that also. Give this a stir so that it will mix with all of the butter there and it will bring out some of the natural oils that are still um, present in those dried spices. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some onion powder as well. Just a little bit, about a teaspoon. I would say about a teaspoon really, maybe a tablespoon of, of the parsley, but a little bit more, or a little bit less of everything else. I'm gonna add some garlic powder as well as the dried garlic. This gives a different depth of flavor. And it's smelling so wonderful in here. I'm going to go ahead and add some of that pasta water back to the pot right now so that I don't get too thick or start to burn. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And it already, it already starts to smell like that mix that you buy in a box that you don't really need to buy in a box. And you can regulate the salt in here so it's much better. Okay, now what I'm going to do, well, I'm going to add my pepper because I forgot that. I have about a half a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. Give that a stir. All right, I'm going to grab my pasta that I have draining in the sink. Put it in here. Now this is going to make more than enough more than what we will eat for supper but that's okay because this makes enough for really two meals you can serve this uh, you can have it for lunch by itself you can chop up some chicken and throw it in here uh, this is just a really great side dish so if you want to leave it like that it's delicious but we're going to gild the lily just a little bit I'm going to add a splash of cream, not too much, maybe a quarter of a cup. That's it. Give this a stir. And then I have a package of sour cream here that I wanted to try. Ooh, that's scary. I'm not going to use that. Hmm? A casualty. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're going to add a half a cup of sour, half, heavy cream. No worries. You can add as little or as much as you like. You don't have to add the heavy cream at all. But that's it. And then we're going to give it a taste. I have my burner turned off. We're going to give it a taste for seasoning. As this sits while the rest of your meal is cooking, that sauce is going to get absorbed 
by the pasta. What do you think? Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. You can add some Parmesan cheese in there if you like. A salt. You can add a little more salt. I was thinking it needed a little more salt too. No, it's big. <laughs> so you can add any combination of herbs to this that you like. You can make this Italian, you can make it French, you can make it whatever you choose. Okay, I'm gonna stir this up. And this is how I cook, folks, when you're not watching. <laughs> I throw things in a pot and I hope for the best. This is one of those times when it worked out really well. Frankly, I don't think my family can complain because I don't think there have been too many occasions when I've made something that just didn't go over well. Usually I'm the first one to say I don't like it. <laughs> so that's how I make my delicious butter and herb noodle side dish. It's kind of like copycat noodle roni, only better. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!